Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in the previous video we have learned about what are directives in Angular and we have started with structural directives. Alright, so in the previous video we have completed what are ng if and ng for and how we can use it in our project. Alright, and the video which I am covering today is ng switch and this is the continuation of what we have ended in the previous video. If you guys have not watched my previous video on ng if and ng for then I would recommend you guys to go ahead and watch it first and then you can continue with this video all right okay so let me start things off with this ng switch what exactly this ng switch does if you have watched my previous video there we have a ng if condition if at all if my condition is true and then i need to show something if my condition is false then that thing will be get hidden from your ui in the same way this ng switch also works but it if suppose we have multiple condition to test so at that time we can't have ng if else if else if else blah we can just simply have ng switch there okay so this ng switch helps to manipulate your dom and this is basically one of the structural directives and directives helps to manipulate your dom all right so in this way we will try to learn this ng switch okay so let me just first uh, take up condition here okay if suppose i have a weekday and the weekday is monday all right if at all my condition is like my weekday is Monday, then what I need to show here is that my selected day is Monday. If at all I go ahead and change this to Tuesday, then it should not show. Let me just demonstrate here what I'm what actually I'm saying here. Okay. So if suppose let me take an ng container. Alright. Uh, to make use of ng switch, what I'll do here is I'll make use of this property binding ng switch. This is our first step. Okay. And what thing I want to switch, okay? Like what value I want to switch with. So the thing is this prop this particular property I want to switch. Okay, so this will be inside my condition here that ng switch switch this particular value. Alright, let me save everything. Let me have a s3 tag here. Okay. And one h3 which says that. Okay. And inside here I'll have this. Suppose I have this ng switch then what value I want to switch. So I can have this asterisk star ng switch case. So what case I want to switch. So that I need to put it here. Alright, so it will check for the condition that if my weekday is Monday, then what I need to show, I want to show that selected, okay, selected day is Monday. Or, or best what I can do is I can interpolate this weekday here, this weekday. So what I will do, I will make use of this interpolation. I already have a video on interpolation in my channel. So if you haven't watched it, then go ahead and watch it. So that you will be clear that what actually this bracket does. Okay. So what I want to interpolate, I want to interpolate this weekday. Okay. So I want to display it here. Okay. Let me save it. All right. Let me save everything and let me just go on my browser. Okay, here you can see the selected day is Monday. It is showing here. If suppose I just go ahead here and just change this to Tuesday. Okay. I'm changing it to Tuesday now. Let me save it. Okay. Let me go here. Now you can see I can't see that. Do you know the reason why? Because whenever I change this condition like weekday to Tuesday, here if you see that for my this ng switch case, this value is true now, but I don't have any condition for Tuesday. All right, so that's the reason that this value is false and we don't have any UI to display it. All right, so let me create some condition for uh, till Monday to Sunday. Okay, like, all right, now whenever I save this value, now if you see here that my weekday is Tuesday, all right, and this particular thing, my weekday is getting switched and it is checking all these conditions, like which condition satisfies that. So you can see this condition is satisfying it. So now it will display for us that okay the selected day is tuesday now if you go ahead here and you can check here that okay so i want to switch for this particular value i think that's i need to change it here as well okay this value should be same to this the spelling was incorrect so that's why it was not showing let me save it now and let me check on the browser what i see i can see the selected day is tuesday all right so what it is doing here is it is just checking for all the condition we are switching this particular weekday and whatever value satisfies the value for this ng switch so that particular line will get shown and rest everything will be hidden all right so in this way we can make use of ng switch in our project all right uh, let me explain you uh, one more example here so that you will be a little bit clear 
So let me just change the requirement now. Okay. If I say that if if uh, if my value if my value of weekday is between Monday to Friday, I want to show that my selected day is in weekend. Okay, uh, in weekday. Sorry, for Monday to Friday it should display uh, weekdays. If at all my value is Saturday and Sunday, then it should display that my selected day is in weekends. All right. So let's try to do it now. Okay, let for that I will need again the ng container. All right, and inside it, I'll have same thing. What I want to switch, I want to switch some value. So I'll just say ng switch. Which value I want to switch? I want to switch the weekday values. Okay, weekday values. All right. Now what I'll do here is I'll just say that h4 tag. Now I'll take a h4 tag and I'll say that star ng switch case. What will you want to switch? Uh, like what will be there? Like to check for the condition, I'll check for if my weekday, if my weekday is equal to equal to Monday, or I'll say or if my weekday is equal to equal to Tuesday. Let me have everything and then uh, come back to you. All right, so here you can see that I have this H4 tag and I have this ng switch case for this weekday. If my weekday is Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday or Friday, at that time it should display that selected week, selected day basically, day is in week days. Okay, and if suppose if suppose my other like if my weekday is Saturday or Sunday, so at that time I'll say that this day belongs to your weekend. Okay, let me do that as well. The same thing I'll do. I'll have star ng switch case. The switch case now it will check for the condition that my weekday is equal to equal to Saturday or my weekday is equal to equal to Sunday then what it should display it should display that selected day is in weekend let me just run this project very quickly I think it is already running let me just save this thing compile successful but I'm uh, to be very honest, I'm not expecting any value. I will only display this, the upper part it will not display this. I'll tell you why. Okay, so you can see I can only see the selected day is Tuesday. And Tuesday belongs to this particular line. Then still I'm not able to see the selected day is in week weekdays. Do you know the reason why? Because currently, if you see that my ng switch case is returning true or false, and I'm switching these weekday values. So I think this is incorrect. So what I'll do here is I'll I can say your ng switch to true because now it will switch for true or false value all right if at all my condition is true because this returns true value this weekday equal to tuesday then it will return true value so if at all it is true then display this if this is true then display this and let me save these things and let's go on the browser and check now you can see that selected day is tuesday and selected day is in weekdays all right if suppose i go ahead and change this to saturday Right. So now you can see the selected day is Saturday and selected day is a weekend. All right. So in this way, you guys can make use of this ng switch. All right. Now there is one more requirement that if at all, if my condition, any one of its condition is not satisfying anything. So in switch case, we have a default. If at all, my condition is not satisfying any of this value, then what should I display? So I have a ng switch default for that. So what I'll do here is I'll just have a h3 tag tag again and I'll have ng okay it will be just like that switch default switch default okay so what you want to uh, like have for this for this we need to have like no condition satisfying you can just have that particular thing it is matching okay let me save it and if suppose I just go here and I just make this thing to uh, like January 
okay so this is basically a not a uh, weekday this is a month let me save it and just let me go on the browser you can see now we are getting no condition is matching okay if no condition is matching so it will uh, it will basically display this particular thing that no condition is matching this is a default if no condition matching then please display this all right so this was all about using a ng switch case in your project so in this way we can make use of this ng switch and this is the last topic of your structural directive if you guys have any doubt related to this topic then you can mention that in the comment section i will be there to answer all your queries